Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, man? First thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. Can't express it enough. Real talk, real shit. So anyways, y'all, before I start this video, man, I just want to give a mad thanks to everybody for continuously, man, showing a lot of love and support. Um, shout out to Key Jen for getting her channel back. And y'all, when I tell y'all, man, a lot of our channels been deleted and a lot of our channels on thin ice, man. I'm one of those people, man. My channel is on super, super thin ice, like literally. YouTube had gave me back to back strikes out the blue for no apparent reason at all. Um, one of those strikes I did appeal, but I did have to serve a two week suspension that I can't get back. Like if you if I'm going to win my appeal and I served it, the suspension, at least give me something, you know what I'm saying, to make it better. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, um, if you haven't already, man, subscribe to my backup channel. I've been dropping videos on there every day, but I got a lot of new content. Um, that I am dropping on this YouTube channel and um, my Patreon real soon. I got a, a lot of collabs in the works. Um, so just, just stay tuned, man. But I want to get into this video because it's very important because a lot of people always ask me, man, like, yo, MC, man, what you think about so-and-so? You never really make videos on YouTubers like that. And um, one of the reasons is, y'all, is because a lot of these YouTubers, man, these big time YouTubers, they are plants. OK, they put here to distract us. Like CJ on 32s. Number one, y'all, is he called himself the 32 gang. Okay. So, and now it's the 32 gang E and T. So if you just take take away the 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 G, you got agent A N G E N T. Now I don't know who in their right mind will label itself that again. Another thing too, y'all, y'all gotta think about for Asians. When you see somebody that's super, super flashy, y'all. It's either because they never had nothing and it's just a matter of time, you know what I'm saying? Lord forbid before something happened to them or because they are agents. They know they're protected. OK, because ain't nobody walking around in nobody's city, man, um, especially Dallas and not being touched. OK, you know what I'm saying? That flashy like it's, there's a reason behind it. I know a lot of y'all don't think that a lot of because y'all watched this guy allegedly come just like myself because I was a huge uh, subscriber. They had an analytics to show you when. People actually subscribe to your page. It would prove that what I'm saying is actually proof and not cap. You know what I mean? I just didn't wake up one day and was just like, yo, this guy's a goddamn scam artist. Or yo, this guy's, you know what I'm saying? It's fake and we're not like that. It was a period of time of watching the channel. Okay. Now, um, again, you know, um, again, y'all, I just want to point this out. So what he does is show us a lifestyle so it can motivate us, allegedly, right? So we can live it. But what y'all got to understand, is it's a reason why this dude have zero houses he own. You know what I'm saying? And the cars are debatable, right? Because if we, we're figuring out like these cars, it always be some type of problem with the pink slip. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, to be fair, it does from time to time can take a long time. You know, I know out in Cali, we, it don't take us that long to get a pink slip. But, you know, I understand in different states it can. But, I mean, this is like years. Dude ain't got no pink slip. Like, it for a lot of these vehicles, you know what I'm saying? It's always something weird when it comes to these cars. Like, you can have all this jewelry that they spent over $100,000 on, right? But it's not like he can take this chain, y'all. It's not like he can take this chain to the pawn shop and get $100,000 or he can sell it for $50,000. No, a lot of that money is because it's actually handcrafted. It's custom made. Whenever you're doing anything custom, it's automatically going to run you a lot more money than if you just bought a regular Cuban links. If you bought a regular charm, for an example, it's not like the chain is actually worth it. You get what I'm saying? Now, that's the first thing. So y'all already know um, the beef that he got, that he started because, again, his YouTube, his YouTube career is clashing real fast, right? It's going down the hills because a lot of real niggas like myself ain't really fucking with this dude, man. He's out here appear to be a bunch of minors you know what i mean as black man we already got a rep like a bad rep so why would you want to talk to somebody in your video that's questionable like you know what i'm saying like you should be really trying to talk to a woman that's your age like you know what i mean but he shy away for that you know what i mean because what do these guys do they prey on the young because the young is what they don't know no better they're young they're trying to figure out stuff for themselves and they just see something like oh i could be on tv oh I can get clout. I can be fame. And he's clearly taking advantage of that. OK, he's clearly, clearly taking advantage of that. Like, OK, so again, you know, even though this is another plant right here, y'all, CJ's so cool. 
You know what I mean? The one thing that I can say is that he did make uh, CJ on 32's career. He can deny it all he want to and say whatever he want to. But facts is facts. And he always is jealous. So I hope this is a message for everybody, man. Be careful on who you hang with, because sometimes that person that you helping out, they just want to be you so bad. They do anything to try to be you. You know what I mean? They even if they got to knock you off. They do that. OK, but I just want I just want the YouTube world to know because I've been sending now. It's been two years and I finally feel like I've been watching people videos about CJ on 32s, man. And I just want to say that I think people are waking up. To what I've been saying about this guy, man, if, if anything, out of all the people I ever called an agent, this is the number one guy is, is an agent is, is CJ and Batman would be number two. This guy is for sure an agent. If you watch um, Tay Vlogs, y'all, um, Tay Vlogs, he won't even though he won't come out and say it, I don't expect him to, man. I ain't throwing no diss at him or nothing like that. But CJ on 32s did snitch on him. Now, what I am going to do. I'm going to throw G-Ball name out there because G-Ball did say this in his video, okay? He did say this, and I don't personally know G-Ball at all. We do have mutual people in Watts that knows him that I know. So it would be nothing for me to to IG him because um, I don't have his number. You get what I'm talking about? But it's, it, it, he been saying this shit for a long time, um, like a, like about five months ago. And, it, and I've been saying this for over a year now. That this guy is clearly an agent, okay? This is what agent does, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is what agents do. Y'all don't understand and y'all don't see him. This is why, you know, you, you, you will never see an agent owning the house, y'all. They Once the mission is done, they go to another location and start another location, okay? This is why they're constantly moving from location to location. This is why every year how they're constantly turning in cars, y'all. It's a, it's a hoax. I mean, you got to ask yourself a question. Like, do you really want to live a lifestyle if you can't own shit, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, y'all. It's not the least in the car because, you know, what I mean, especially if you a car fanatic and you want to keep up with all the latest cars, but at least have one that you own with a pink slip in case times get hard. You know what I'm saying? When you can't able to lease that car no more. You know what I'm saying? But this guy don't literally own anything but the jury. And that's even if that. OK. And again, y'all, you know. Y'all got to pay attention to people that's jealous of y'all, man, the people that envy y'all. It's some people that were sick by you right now. You know what I mean? And you can help them through thick and thin, man. You can put them on a map, put money in their pocket and everything. But at the end of the day, the whole time, they whole plan is to watch you fall. You know, to watch you fall because they envy you. They want to be you so bad. There's a lot of jealousy going on. And that's what he did. He basically made himself look terribly bad, in my opinion, because there's rules that guys got, man. And just like women got, man, they don't have nothing to do with the streets. It's just, it just a thing. Like, if you cool with somebody, then you cool with somebody. If they like family to you, they like family to you. You don't never cross the line. If, if one of my boys, man, if one of my homies was beefing with his baby mama and I seen her, you nigga, I ain't got shit to say to her, low. That's just what it is. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm talking about? Keep the shit pushing. And I'm letting my boy know, like, hey, man, I seen your baby mama whoop the woo low. Like, I let him know off top so he'll understand, like, okay, you know what I'm saying? This is a respect thing. Nobody do the little shady shit he do. This nigga's so damn desperate, man, for fucking attention. It's just sad. Like, and he really fucking up, like, the culture, like, on some real shit, like, on some predatory shit. Like, I don't respect that low at all. Like I said, I don't respect that at all. Like, that's just some, some bitch shit, like. Talk to a woman your age. This nigga would not do that. Like, talk to a woman your age. And what type of grown-ass man hide behind their age, man? That's some shit a female do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what type of grown man, like, lie about their age and hide behind their age to try to appear to, to be younger? This nigga won't even gain weight because he want to look so young for the girls can think he young. Like, he won't uh, 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 have a beard because that'll make him look old. Anything that would make him look a speck young older... He won't do. You get what I'm saying? Because he wants people to think that he's young. Ain't nothing wrong with looking, trying to look young or look your best. But when you're doing it just to go after young age women, you know what I'm saying? That's that's not cool, lo. That's not cool at all. And his number one thing he keeps saying is niggas is hating on them. Niggas is hating on them. If you asking your audience what y'all think about this car, what y'all think about this situation, and then they voice their opinion, and then you turn around and say niggas is hating on you, you talk about you got that bag, look, but what type of bag you got? I don't, I never, I don't know one rich nigga right now on everything because, like, I don't know one rich nigga on everything I love that do raffle after raffle after raffle after raffle. Look, if you got the money and you balling like that, why? what's up with all these raffles? 
You know what I'm saying? And again, too, for y'all to just seen that raffle when old dude showed his license from California, man, I can, if I want to, I can make a video about it and expose that whole shit. Because you he can't pull no strings in California, y'all. Don't think, oh, he got the money and all of that. The only strings he can pull is whatever CIA shit he got with the agents. But far as the street shit, he can't pull no strings in Cali. Like, you know what I mean? How y'all thinking like, oh, he can't. It's, when you got money, you can make shit happen. So he's trying to fool y'all like he don't got family and nothing like that. Him and G-Ball was homies. They can be still cool all we know. You know what I'm talking about? And, and, and G-Ball do got family in California. He got family in Watts. I can vouch and say that. And, and if G-Ball real nigga, like I know he a solid nigga, he, he'll make a video or he'll respond and say, oh, yeah, he got some family in Watts. You get what I'm talking about? And, and much respect to G-Ball. I ain't diss or nothing like that. I'm just saying. So you got to think about it. If G-Ball got family out here that niggas know and niggas respect, you know what I mean? Because niggas respect uh, G-Ball out here in Cali. You get what I'm talking about? Because he wanted the reason niggas was riding 26 and 28s. You know what I'm talking about? But at the same time, if he got family, then you, don't you think CJ probably know some of them niggas? You know what I'm saying? It's not hard to get a nigga in California and shit like that. You get what I'm talking about? You could pay a couple thousand to pretend you want a car. Like, y'all just not following it. Like, you know what I mean? If a nigga got all this money, man, why you keep raffling shit? I mean, you get kicked off raffle creator. You go on your friend uh, 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 account and to use their account. Like, bro, it, it's not that serious. But it, for some people, it is, right? This is how you eat. Like, come on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make no type of sense. So I'm just telling y'all because I know what y'all keep thinking. Y'all be like, well, at the end of the day, all we got to do is not buy the ticket. And that's true. That's all y'all got to do. But again, y'all, what did I tell y'all? He's he's going after the young because ain't no older, ain't too many older niggas. The wise is buying tickets for these raffles. We know this is the scam. But the youth, the teenagers, and you know what I mean? All the young kids. Why y'all think nobody young ever win these raffles? Have y'all ever thought about that? Why nobody young? They the main ones like when CJ So Cool did his raffles, man. It was tons of kids buying tickets. They was buying prepaid debit cards to buy tickets. And you mean to tell me out of all those kids, an adult one, it's never a kid or a teenager that wins, y'all. It, it's always some fucking adult. They never seem excited or happy. Like, if a motherfucker call right now, be like, hey, hey Loke, you won this card, this, this, and that, I'm going to be enthused. Why wouldn't I? Even if I sell the motherfucker, because I'm a picky ass nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Even if I sell the motherfucker, I'm going to be enthused, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to be so fucking humble. And why nobody never like that? You know what I'm saying? Why Why? Why is everything based off, uh, you know, uh, raffling the fucking car? You, you know what I'm saying? You got niggas raffling PlayStations and shit. Like, that's the shit you should fucking give to your subscribers. You get what I'm talking about? What about giveaways? Like, you know what I mean? R motherfuckers raffling chains and shit like that. I just start hoping that the people start literally waking up and realize y'all being used. This for a motherfucker to turn around and say, y'all hating on me, y'all hating on me, this, this, and that. Like, no, a loke out of pocket, man. He need to be stopped on some real shit. He really need to be stopped. But anyway, man, much love and respect to everybody, y'all. This nigga's a clown. This nigga's an agent, man. Ain't no motherfucking 32 gang. Hey, that's a fake-ass gang that nigga made up. Ain't no, nobody claim no motherfucking 32 nigga. 32 gang shit came from Chicago. He ain't in Chicago. Nigga, he a Jelly Bean nigga. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Jelly Bean, Jolly Bean, whatever, nigga. I ain't trying to diss no nigga from there, but I'm just saying what it is. At the end of the day, don't let this clown fool y'all, man. And all of my truth is out there, man. Shout out and respect to all y'all, man. We need to start getting at these YouTubers, man, because I'm starting to understand they're controlling the youth a lot. And I'm really, I sat back for a couple months and, I, and I've been watching videos and I've been really seeing how they've been taking advantage out their pocket. Okay? With that said, much love and respect to everybody, man. Y'all have a good day.